Ready? All right. Okay, we're going to try and make a pretty short video out of this. Uh, uh, one of our uh, customers who made a, a, a uh, uh, reply on uh, YouTube or a comment on YouTube uh, apparently is smarter than I am because he came up with an idea for how to use the chuck with different wheels that I hadn't thought of. So sometimes it pays to have people uh, uh, that have either bought from you or are making uh, comments uh, that are smarter than you are. This fellow goes by Wingnut Bert, and his uh, uh, reply to me was, why did I not use the compound feature to take care of the angular uh, misadjustment when you change wheels, uh, which makes perfect sense. Now, uh, to that end, the way that would work is if you put a, uh, a part on your surface grinder and you've ground it in with, say, this wheel. And I want to change to another wheel. So you put the wheel on, you put something on the chuck, and it's grinding, uh, let's call it, it's a thousandths wide part, and it's grinding a thousandths uh, wide at the top or up here, and a thousandths, that would make it a thousandths narrower at the bottom, which would mean the wheel is tilted this way in relation to the chuck. Well, that problem you can fix by now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you some numbers here. The sine of one inch is 17.6 thousandths, uh, I think, or four. Well, we're going to call it 17 and a half thousandths round numbers. So, if over one inch this is out one thousandths, then you would put a shim in here, loosen this up, like so, lift this, and since this is a five inch sign from here to here, and we need one inch over one thousandths over one inch, and the way to start would be putting a five thousandths shim under here and locking it down, just a shim right here, locking it down. And what that should do is that should rock the chuck this way and put it parallel to the wheel. Now, it may be six thousand, it may be five, four. I mean, you're going to have to play with it a little bit. Now, end to end, regardless of the wheel, it should measure the same distance from some point on the wheel to the surface plate there as it does here once the chuck is ground in. So all you've got to do is take out the movement this way. Now, let's say it's the opposite way. Let's say the part you grind is a thousandths thicker at the at the bottom than it is at the top. Well, I'm sorry, let me back up. A thousand is thinner at the top than it is at the bottom. You can't rock the table down this way to take compensate for that. So how do you fix it? Take your wheel off and flip it over. If you flip it over, now it'll reverse. It'll be a thousand thinner in the direction that you can compensate for with this sign plate. What that means is you should not have to grind this chuck in uh, very often. And chucks are expensive and uh, uh, again they're replaceable, but uh, using that method, that methodology, you should be able to use this chuck with virtually any wheel. Now the, the thing you're gonna, people are going to have problems with is all wheels are not flat. In other words, if this wheel is grooved out or cupped or domed, don't expect to get a flat grind out of it. It's only going to give you as good a grind as the surface of your wheel. That's about it. I thought we'd post that so uh, people aren't, uh, aren't uh, grinding a material off their chuck that they don't have to. Okay, thank you. And we really appreciate all the comments. A lot of them make a lot of sense. Some of them are too expensive, so we don't do them. But uh, we appreciate everything that everybody uh, sends to us. And... Uh, we consider everything anybody, everybody talks to us about. So thank you again. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.